Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how to solve trigonometric equations. Here the technique will be a little bit different. At first you may be tempted to see the sine of 2 theta and the cosine of 2 theta and try to expand that out and so forth, but actually you can be a little bit more clever about it. What if you divide both sides by the cosine of 2 theta? Move this over here, and what that then becomes, you end up with the sine of 2 theta divided by the cosine of 2 theta is equal to 3. And now what we can do is we turn that into the tangent of theta, or at least tangent of 2 theta, so the tangent of 2 theta is equal to 3. And then we do that substitution. So let, uh, let's take another angle, the angle alpha equals to 2 theta, and then we substitute that in here. So now we have the tangent of alpha is equal to 3, and now we have simply have to solve for that. So what is the angle alpha? Well, it's equal to the inverse tangent of 3, and now we grab our calculator, we plug in 3, we take the inverse tangent, and we get 71.56 degrees, uh, we'll just call it 71.6 degrees, so alpha is equal to 71.6 degrees. Well, let's see here, let's see here, let's draw the tangent, let's draw the, uh, the function, see what that looks like. So the tangent will look like this. I was supposed to go through the origin, but I didn't quite make that. And so we have an asymptote here at pi over 2. We have another asymptote here at negative pi over 2. And so we're looking for the value so that uh, it's equal to 3, which would be right about here somewhere. This would be 3. Notice there's only one place where that happens between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So this is indeed the only proper answer. But of course, that's the answer for alpha. That's not the answer for theta. So here we go, theta is equal to alpha divided by 2. So in this case, theta is going to be equal to 70. Oh, that's strange, isn't it? I said 70 and I write a 3. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Anyway, 71.6 degrees divided by 2. So let's take a calculator, divide by 2, just so I don't get a rounding error. Yes, so it would be theta is equal to 35.8 degrees. For that value of theta, uh, for that value of theta, this equation is correct. Now, of course, if you want to convert that to radians, we can multiply this times the conversion factor, which is a pi radians divided by 180 degrees. So if I take that number and divide by 180 degrees, I have the answer in pi, so this is equal to 0 0.199 pi. There we go, pi radians. So that would be the answer. But that's the way we do this one. Notice, don't get, and it can happen. Sometimes you go ahead and start expanding these out, and you start all getting stuck, and you don't know where to go from there. That's okay, that happens. Just try different techniques. Just realize here that if you can bring the cosine across, you have sine divided by cosine, that's an easy identity, it turns into tangent. Make the quick conversion from a double angle to a single angle, solve the problem, and then convert back. That's how easy this problem then becomes.